by now, almost everybody understands that earning the loyalty of your customers brings huge economic advantage. Loyal customers buy more, they stay longer, they tell their friends, they cost less to serve. Companies have struggled for a long time, however, to focus resources on earning that loyalty. And part of the reason is because they've lacked a reliable way of knowing whether they're succeeding or failing that links to economic outcomes. In 2003, we introduced a metric, the Net Promoter Score, that really does describe economic behavior, loyalty of customers, and the advantage that companies can get. It became very popular because it's radically simple. It's based on one single question. How likely would you be to recommend our products or services to your friends, your relatives, your family members? It's scored zero to 10. And the nines and tens are promoters. They're customers who really do buy more, stay longer, tell their friends. The zeros through sixes are detractors. They do just the opposite. And then the sevens and eights are passives. They are perfectly satisfied, but they don't really go out on a limb on your behalf. Companies that earn a higher net promoter score, promoters minus detractors, grow faster than their competitors. And promoters can be you know, 9, 10, 12 times more valuable to the company than detractors. The popularity of Net Promoter Score led to thousands and thousands of companies measuring their Net Promoter Score. But there was a subset of companies who were getting exceptional value out of the Net Promoter Score. And what we learned was that those companies embedded it in a much more complete system, a system that enabled learning, it enabled fast action, it enabled the companies to link the feedback directly to the people who needed to make decisions to improve the customer's experience. It's that system that creates the value. Now it requires a reliable net promoter score, but it also requires things like a really clear link to the economics. It requires closed loop feedback. It requires an orientation towards learning and experimentation and a set of processes and mechanisms that make that easy and enable that in the organization. So looking back now, you know, I sort of wish that back in 2003 when we called the Net Promoter Score NPS, that the S had stood for system, Net Promoter System. That's what really drives change.